Hello? <clears throat> Back. Um, Merry Christmas. Well, Merry, uh, Merry post-Christmas. Wow. I hope you all had a nice break. Do 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 How's 22 versus 23? 23, I believe, is um, a mobile game. I believe. So I haven't played it. Do do Where were we up to? Does anyone remember? We'd started loading this truck. Um, it looks like this guy had potentially finished this side, but missed a little. We just gotta, uh, we just gotta cultivate this last bit for him, because he struggles. This, because this field borders the, uh, the edge of the map, right? That's, that's the one. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Sorry, I'm a bit rusty. It's been a, a couple of days. I'll get there. I will get there. And I'll see you when I get there. Um, yeah, we'll just do this whole thing over here, and then he can do the, the last bit. There's a little bit on the side there, too. But we, Oh, yeah, we bought another tractor, right? So we can actually have more, more dudes out doing the work. That was exciting, wasn't it? God, that's exciting. Okay, here, let's get this bit here done, too. We're mid-harvest, uh, mid right? Or actually, we're, we're just at the end. There's another field to do, I think, and then we're good. Big red. We got uh, we got big red. We got big red two now, right? Because the other tractor's red as well, I believe. All right, let's get him to finish this. We have so many oats here. This guy can finish this. want to keep the straw thing enabled, so we're going to sell the straw. Okay. Oh, yes. That's right. We were bailing. this a few days ago and the epic store didn't give you a chance to use my code well don't feel too bad my son got some uh some v bucks on fortnite for christmas and uh when he went to uh apply the uh, the code and use them it asked for creator code and he used dan tdms my own flesh and blood I couldn't believe it he's like do you have a code i was like yes he's like oh sorry I use Dan TDMs. Uh, we got we got to get the automatic drop on. Unbelievable, eh? Unbelievable. All right. Well, some mistakes were made, but we can get this other line done, right? Get this one done over here. It's a, it's a thin line. Mm 
There's not a lot of straw in this line, but this is the... This doesn't go all the way down, I don't think. I think it goes like halfway. If you remember, there's like a bit that, that uh, Al missed. Hitman 2 over Chris. Nice. Yes, I'm back. I'm back today. I'm not here tomorrow, though. I'm off again tomorrow. But I should be back on Friday? I believe... Oh, this does go right to the end. I'm a liar. Sorry. God. Lying so much. No, no. Straw doesn't get wrapped. It wraps the uh, grass and, uh, and hay... Uh, to ferment, but um, straw doesn't. Straw doesn't undergo that process. Straw just stays as it is. It's just uh, dead. It doesn't do like a uh, a bio breakdown. It's just dead and dry. It's just used for bedding, mostly. And uh, for spooky uh, wagon rides. And sometimes as bleachers at a hoedown. Yeah, Santa brought me as... God, more dildos than I could feasibly cram up my ass, honestly. It's crazy. Yeah, I had a good Christmas. It was nice. Um, kids got all the stuff that they wanted. Um, I ate a lot. I ate too much. I watched a lot of, lots of Disney movies on TV this year, but it's all like all the, the live action remakes of the classics, you know, Beauty and the Beast and Lion King and all the other ones, which uh, my son seems to think are interesting, but um, my daughters hate them because they're kind of scary. You know, like you go from cutesy cartoon characters to, you know, Lion King's got like full on like turbo lions and it. it's scary. <clears throat> yeah, the OG well the, the OG Lion King is like one of the one of the top grossing movies of all time. I don't think the the remake came anywhere close. Hey, after after um, after box office and worldwide sales, like it's like 1.2 billion or something. Like it's insane how uh, much money that movie made. And at the time, I believe uh, most of the people who were working on it were like, oh, "I want to work on Pocahontas instead. That it's going to be a better movie." Little did they know, I guess. Eh? <clears throat> Do 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 Alright, we have one more field of canola to harvest. It's a lot of oats. That's a lot of oats, it's gonna equal to lots of um flour. Do 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 He's not gonna be able to start until I empty him out though, so I'm gonna have to empty him out first. Thirty-four thousand liters of oats here. Oh, I can barely drive. This is so heavy.
Do farm can do farm hands get a healthy wage? I don't know. I, I, I mean, they get L wage. Is it healthy? I'm not sure. I don't know if they need. I don't know what the cost of living is in this universe. I'm assuming probably not great. Alright. <clears throat> 34,000 liters of oats? Sure. Come and poo inside my car. Whoops. Alright, let's get this guy started. AI worker, Al, Al worker F has uh, finished his. not done. Oh, there's a fucking little piece of wood here again. These little little chunks of wood have caused so many problems in this field you wouldn't believe. So we're trying to get these uh, fields um, cultivated so that we can plant tomorrow, right? And we're planting a combination of canola and wheat, I believe, was what we were looking to do. Canola and wheat across all of our fields. The new Tarkov wipe, they got a Timmy map level limited to 1 to 20? Wow. But what is, what is, meaning what? Like, loadouts and stuff are limited? Or is it a 1 to 20, but as soon as you've got all the sweaty stuff, you can just go in and own everybody? Hey, Yogscast, thanks so much for the raid. What's up, raiders? Level, it's only level limited. All right, okay. So that, that'll be abused immediately. Which I mean, it's it's fine, but do, 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 
Ooh, okay, I have so much bailing to do, and I have to do the bailing. And then these guys can uh, can carry on after it. I'm going to probably need to empty out that guy's canola pretty soon, too. Oh, he's not even anywhere near full, actually, it's fine. Alright, let's carry on with this bailing. And then, uh, when this is done, we can uh, start cultivating this field. Unbelievable. I think the uh, that the shape of that field's gonna have to change eventually, right? We just want square fields, because otherwise the, the AI just can't really handle it, right? We might be able to fix it if we get course play or something. I don't know, maybe that'll like improve the AI. Or maybe they get that building with the GPS stuff. Apparently that can improve it as well, I'm not sure. No, I didn't get anything from the Steam Winter Sale. I haven't uh, even looked, actually. Is any of the is any of the the DLC the the paid DLC for this game in the uh, Winter Sale? Because I might pick some of it up, actually, if it is. Might be worth checking. the one that uh, we don't have is it the, the platinum edition we have premium but not platinum platinum I don't know what gives you it gives you that um, Eastern European map right was it Z Z Zalonka or something this is the Polish one I think was it like Czech or something I'm not sure Some nice Volvo equipment. Nice. Premium comes with year one and two season passes as well as the expansion if you get the one that you got. So premium... I've got the season one pass and all the, the stuff in season one. Uh, but I don't have... I don't think I have any of the season two stuff. I played, uh, I played some Battlegrounds this morning and I came in first place. Unexpectedly too, I was like, I'm just gonna play a quick one and maybe I just won't do well and you know, I'll just like top four or whatever and boom, first place. I can believe it. For the most part, I feel like the DLCs are a complete waste compared to all the stuff you can get for free with mods. Yeah, I don't know. Like some of the some of the DLC stuff uh, in the premium was good. The winch we used a lot. Seemed like a good one. 
Some of the forestry equipment seems kind of cool. I think the forestry map is meant to be quite fun, although I've not tried it. Uh, my daughter did watch, yeah. Gosh, she loves it. She absolutely loves Hearthstone. Filling up on the good stuff. On the black gold. get this guy to start mulching that actually would be good. Where's my mulcher? I'm missing a, a, a mulcher. <laughs> Where could it be? Where is it? over there in anticipation. Pastor Ron borrowed it? He doesn't have the correct authorization. He does actually, he does have the authorization. G.O.D. himself. this guy's job that he didn't bother to finish this is why we pay these guys the big bucks to do half a job
Nice. Harvest complete. Now we just got to do all the uh, cleanup and prep. dump off all this stuff too, right? We're replanting uh, wheat and canola tomorrow. So we got a lot of a lot of baling and stuff to do. And the grass is grown too. Okay, yeah, I need to do that as well. It's a busy day on the farm. A very busy day. I think um, I think we might need a bigger baler for straw, and we can make big uh, square bales out of the straw too, right? Especially if we're gonna have this much of it. So this is gonna just take forever to uh, even collect all this. Fuck, there's so many bales. You're doing great, Dad. Merry Christmas, chips. Hey, anonymous, thank you so much for the twenty. Merry Christmas to you too. I hope you had a good one. Thanks. I think the, the this this baler is is small because it's got the wrapper built into it. I think we want the we want a huge one that can just spit out like the big bricks of straw, especially as our fields get bigger and we're gonna have more straw to collect. Something that maybe can go a bit faster and has we don't have to stop every five seconds to let the bale out. You know those ones that just sort of like continuously leak out the back are the better ones i think or forage wagons yeah forage wagon pick it all up could be good too yeah just sell it in bulk how what the price works out to I think the, I think the bale price is just the price of straw but it's in you know whatever a thousand it's like already in like a, a nice little package of whatever a thousand liters or whatever so you probably just get the same price for a massive load of um, straw in a forage wagon right I don't think I don't think the fact that it's baled increases the price Is 
there anything on sale? There is a manure spreader. And it looked like a slurry tank, maybe? Yeah, if we, uh, if we forge, we don't have to shred it for bedding if we're, if we ever get into the, uh, the cow business. Which, I mean, I guess we probably will, right? Make some cheese and stuff. Hello, chefs. Chef? I love that. I like that one when they're like, chef? It's like 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 data from Star Trek. Captain? Chef? Seventy-three bales. I don't think this is seventy-three bales. It's a lot of bales on this field alone, but it's not seventy-three. I didn't reset the counter, so this probably still has a couple of loads of uh, wrapped grass bales. mountain there. This one is a maximum of 150. The big one does, uh, the, the one up from this one can do 150 wrapped and 180 unwrapped, but I think I think people are right. I think we'll just get a forge wagon for all this straw in the future. I don't think we need to bale all this up, straw, especially. I think the grass will bale up and wrap it because it's easy, but.
Man, I'm kind of tempted to go back over those missed bits. So there's quite a few of them. But I don't know what they'll amount to, because they're just not full lines of straw, are they? They're just like, I just couldn't get the baler over the top. Look, I was trying. I was definitely trying. so weird how thick the uh, the straw line is. I don't know if there's like maybe we gotta like windrow it or something. This isn't even, the percentage is, oh it is going up a little bit, okay. Not much, though. I'll finish this bale, yeah, and then we'll go do the other field. Even though it's straw as well, we could just... I don't think there's enough here to even finish the bale on this line. It's like just like the little dusty leftover bits. Dusty Bits is your country singer name? It's a good name. Dusty Bits. Dusty Bits is your stripper name? Hmm. Not, not so great a name. My stripper name is Hemorrhoid Terry. Wait till you see my finishing move. The Wolverine hated that. <laughs>
Are the rumors sure if you won the worst Rectum 2 2023 award at the finals in Cancun? Yes, I have, yeah. I was the, uh, the, I was the winner. The grand prize winner. I dismantled the opposition. My filthy rectum. just didn't want to pick up that bit weird we went and saw um, home alone 2 in the theaters uh, just before Christmas it's so it's weird home alone 2 it's it's as good as the first in parts but the lead up the lead up to the the end bit is a lot longer it feels like but it, it's still pretty good there's definitely some fucking parts in it that are amazing yeah donald trump is in it yeah you're right he owned the plaza hotel at the time and uh for them to film there he was like you need to pay me but also i want a cameo in the movie so they're like mm, all right um the uh it's weird, too, because the lead-up isn't as funny uh, as the first movie, right? Like, the, the lead-up to the action parts in the first movie, there's a, there are funnier moments, I would say. But the, the action part at the end of Home Alone 2 is, I think, a lot better than Home Alone. Like, I, I don't know. I think it's just the... Fuck me, the part with the bricks is so fucking funny. When Marv is just getting hammered with the bricks... Harry, <laughs> Harry, <laughs> oh fuck, it's so fucking good. Yeah, the brick throwing's really good, and the fucking oh, the part when uh, the part when when they're they they wise up to the paint cans and they're on the stairs avoiding the paint cans, and they're they're laughing because they're they're pretending to be hit by them. And fucking Harry, Harry with the big one where he goes, Ow! Right in the schnoz! <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh man, it's so funny. Oh god. <laughs> wow! What a hole! <laughs> fucking, what a movie, man. Jesus Christ, it's funny. Yeah, there's some some there's some really good moments in it. Really good. Whoa. I ran over a deer. All right, that other um field is ready to be cultivated. These ones are not just yet because I've got to clear the bales off. The arc welder on the taps was funny, but also 
I think that was the only part of the movie where I was like, shit. Like I like I actually looked over at my kids because there was there was like a slight sort of uh theme of torture in that part it, it's funny when he turns into a skeleton and he's screaming and stuff but like at the same time when he's ramping up the dial and <laughs> a little bit worrying just a slight it's a bit darker isn't it home alone 2 in uh in tone right like that especially the uh the taps part was uh, there was like a like a sadistic element to it. I don't know. It was good though. It was funny. My kids liked it. The tool cabinet going down the stairs uh, was uh, was pretty pretty funny too. What's the line when uh, when they get hit by it and he's like, the, <laughs> it was the sound of a tool cabinet going down the stairs or whatever. Oh man, <laughs> what's that sound? Oh yeah, the synchronized uh, nose crack was. Yeah, there's some great moments in Home Alone too. For sure. Um, bad news, everybody. The Schlager is done. Good news, though. Uh, we could listen to some um, something else. I'm thinking, let's just go big and listen to some. You guessed it. Country music, perfect for farming. This is a bit of a Dusty Bits kind of beat, you're right. It does have like a, a Dusty Bits element to it. I think I'll, um, I'll pick up the bales in this field first so that um, Al can start cultivating it. And then we should be good for um, seeding tomorrow. I'm going to seed up all these fields with the help of Al. I'm going to have to do some rolling. We might overnight have enough money to buy the big roller. God, I hate stopping every five seconds with this thing. It's so annoying. The big roller's 120k. Okay. Well, we've got all these bales to sell. 
not only that, we've got the silage bales to sell. Plus, we'll have a, uh, a truckload of stuff overnight, including bread and oil again now that we've harvested. So we might be able to afford it. games have for me I, I think i like the progress i don't know it's weird isn't it i can do like uh repetitive mundane stuff if there's like visual sort of progress to be made as well you know like i don't mind it so much It's a pretty chill game too, yeah, you're right. I like, um, I, I feel like this game is, at the surface, a lot of people are like, oh, fuck, it's boring, it's like, but uh, there's a lot that it does really well. And also, I like that there's like, uh, there's like some strategy to it too, you know? Not a lot, but, you know, like, you, you, you gotta plan things out a little bit and stuff, you know? And oftentimes, like, what, what you're planning for leads into you buying some sort of upgrade or upgrading like a production line or something like that and then it all sort of just it just builds up over time it's quite satisfying i don't know i i like it yeah no man's land's been good because i like the i like the empty start i like starting with nothing and building it up like everything that we built you know has been i mean we started with a grass field right it's been it's been nice slow progress but it's still satisfying progress you know I think this was a uh, big uh, owl reversal move on the grass here might as well pick it up Definitely need the uh, the forge wagon for uh, next next harvest for the straw. We don't want to have to bale it again. We'll just scoop it all up and then sell it. We could get a hay loft if we want to start. Uh, sorry, a, a straw loft. A straw hay? Is it hay loft? Straw? There's a storage building anyway that we could get if we wanted to start keeping it, but I don't think we really need to worry about keeping it just yet. No, the AI can't pick up the bales, sadly. You probably can do it with coarse play, but I don't think you can do it by default.
Alright, let me go grab the trailer. I got chickens and sheep to feed. Um, is this stuff ready? No, 78%. So, I lied. We can't sell this stuff yet. We can maybe sell it tomorrow. all those up and sell them um, after tomorrow and then hopefully we could get the big roller let's pick up these ones first and then uh, whew, shit Al can make a start on uh, this field Yes. How was the tofurkey? Oh man, it was so good. Kiso. I can't get enough of that stuff. Do you have any um, delicious uh, deli meats for Christmas? I knew he wouldn't be done. I knew it. Nothing new on sale. pick up six more on here I think so this field will have made uh, a load and a bit of straw the next field is going to take multiple loads to uh, empty out
All right, let's go sell this. Shop deals seem to refresh like once a day, I think. Maybe more. I usually just check them every once in a while and sometimes they've got new stuff. Six thousand five hundred for those straw bales. Nah, it doesn't make a huge amount, but it adds up. There's a lot of... There are a lot of bales. It's we'll probably end up taking about four or five loads back, so... It'll be a decent amount of money. This field's ready to go. I don't know what we're going to plant here. I think we might just go canola again. Oh, we got to lime the fields, all of the fields as well, before um, the day is done. We might, uh, might get AI to start working on that. AI out. See how much lime we actually have. There's a fair bit here. I like Prison Architect, I might like Embark on Steam. Embark. I don't know what that is. I'd have to look it up. Is it a prison management game?
All right, that field's done, so you can carry on cultivating. <laughs> I'm like a freight train, I don't slow down for anything. shelter game where you house orphan barking dogs nice I tell you what I wouldn't mind playing that game if it looked like uh, project hospital imagine uh, a game like that where you have to shelter animals and stuff but it had project hospital graphics holy crap that'd be great What's up, Liz? That's me. How you doing? Yeah, Christmas is good. The kids did go crazy. Yeah, they loved it. They had fun. Man, Lewis sent us uh, some gifts. He does every year, to be fair. But, uh, man, this year he sent... Well, he sent my son a whole bunch of anime books. Like, uh, you know, volume one of, like, a couple of different series of anime books that he thought he would like. And I don't know if they're just filled with weird nudity and stuff or not. Like, I haven't even looked... I'm assuming they're fine, but he, this man sent to me, wait for it, you're not going to believe this, he sent me a USB cassette player, okay, that plays actual cassettes, right? So it's like, oh, that's really cool, actually, what a, what a good idea. I still have some cassettes, so it's like, oh, great, I can listen to some of my old cassettes. <laughs> And then I opened another present from him. He got me Wu-Tang Forever on cassette. <laughs> I remember buying that in like 1996. I went to HMV, I went, I took the bus to the mall to HMV and I bought Wu-Tang Forever, the double, the double album on cassette. Oh man, pretty good present, yeah, it was nice.
Uh, he also got me some burger socks. <laughs> it's like it's a pair of socks that comes like in a what looks like a like a styrofoam container for a burger. And when you open the container, it's two pairs of socks, and each sock is individually folded on top of each other. And two of them have like like a, a hamburger bun design on them. And then there's one sock that's green for the lettuce, and there's a, there's a red sock with like tomatoes, sliced tomatoes on it. <laughs> so like it looks like a burger made of socks. It was kind of gross actually. I haven't worn them. I got him something really amazing in return. I got him the same thing I get him every year. Every year we send him a a Jersey cow calendar. <laughs> every single year. It's just a calendar of with pictures of Jersey cows on it. He does like it. He seems to like it, yeah. ready to go so this will be what 18 18 grand after this load we'll have made 18 grand off all this straw K? Yeah, I'd say, I guess it's more like 19. 19 and a half. You're right. I'm just rounding. But not rounding the right way. Right, let's just see how our animals in production are doing, because I have not checked. Okay, they're fine. Production lime we're not making planks we got lots of wood still oat flour we're making there's 93,000 liters of oat in there that's really good 4,967 liters of flour stored up for the bread we got plenty of planks for furniture and we got 125,000 liters of canola that should be really good I think we'll be producing bread and canola right up until harvest next year Do I like Satan? Yes, hail Satan. Very much so, in fact. Thank you for asking me. I don't know if we get another full load here, actually. So what are we, just over 20k for straw now? And then whatever else this ends up being? Ah, it's whatever. I mean, the the thing is, we're, we're doing this while uh, Al is prepping the fields, right? So it's it's just a bit of extra money, right?
How my custom field so straight? I, I don't know. I just... I, don't, I, I haven't really gone back over them with the terrain editor or anything. I just... Just really concentrated, I guess. I don't know. When I was plowing them, I just thought, you know, worst case, Ontario, there's going to be a couple of little indents here and there. But for the most part, they're pretty straight. Got it last. Can we never do baling again? We're, we'll do grass baling, but we're going to strive to not do uh, straw baling again. I think we'll get a forge harvester for next um, year because it's just uh, takes too long, right? Forge harvester has like a, an enormous capacity as well if we get a good one. Just be able to just scoop it all up. I wonder if you could, it'd be cool if you could attach a forge harvester to the back of the, the other one, um, the combine harvester, and then you could just pick it up as you go be like a one-man band. Yeah, the stopping is the killer, yeah. I don't think we'd have to if we got a bigger baler, but I think we can uh, we can just pick it all up. It doesn't need to be bailed, you know? <clears throat> so what's that? Like 20... We'll call it 23k for all the, uh, the bales? The straw bales? It's not bad. Aha! It's another piece of wood. Let me go and fix this. Alright, from now on, anytime we cut down a tree, we gotta make sure that we get those little pieces of wood too, right? You want me to buy a bigger baler, or maybe you'd rather I leased a bigger baler? Maybe you, maybe you think I should lease a bigger baler. Hey, what's up, Ravs? Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Love you lots, miss you lots. Hope you're having fun.
We gotta go on a trip or something soon, Ravs. Gotta go somewhere. Oh no, it's missing the side. I gotta line up better here. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm down to go to Germany for sure. Let's see if we can get like a... Something to do while we're there. Let's not wait until the summer to go. Let's go like soon. We need an excuse to go, though. Let's let's reach out to some contacts that we have in and around Germany and figure out if there's any scope for us to go on a trip. Giso's having a wedding. We can go to his wedding. park this guy here because oh some of these are actually ready we'll uh we'll sell them all tomorrow we can sell this whole line here but let's just sell a full load tomorrow and then we can see how much a full load is worth i think i put this too close to the shed shit Yeah, Ravs, I'm down for some some expeditions. Snow runner expeditions. That sounds good. Another another one for us to hundred percent. Yeah, we gotta get that one hundred percented for sure. Just like we did with the base game. achievement something about maximum efficiency I don't know here we go what a team This guy's still got quite a bit of lime left as well. Perfect. All right, we'll load the rest of these up tomorrow and uh, and then we'll sell the silage. I'll load them up. I don't know if they, oh, they do ferment while they're on the thing, right? We might as well just load it up now.
That's pretty good. It's pretty, uh, pretty close to all of them. We'll save those ones and sell them in the next load, right? This one's ready to go. We have a lot of wool stored up, too. go buy some more lime for this. <laughs> 2,800 bucks on lime? That's disgusting. That's a that's disgusting. We've been ripped off. All right, the state of the fields is as such. We have um, cloud cultivated. Most of these stones will just get rolled back into the field. We don't need to collect them all up. I missed a spot. All right, let's go and fill this guy up and then he can carry on. What's in this? Oh, it's seed. That was an American werewolf howling at the... The werewolves in... There is a werewolf in London. Do -do 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 -do. No, what's the what's the werewolves in London? Uh, ooh. Werewolves in London. Uh, ooh. That's that one, right? The other one I was thinking of was uh, Last Train to London. That's the one. There is a werewolf in London. Do -do 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 -do. up now. Do 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 uh, ooh, sweet home Alabama do 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 I was drinking lots of things and I was sniffing lots of things 
Singing sweet home Alabama and I'm in my old pajamas. Singing sweet home Alabama all summer long. It's the the Kid Rock version is like two songs mixed together, right? It's two, it is, it's two songs mixed together. Kid Rock is a chode? Well, yeah, he is, you're right. There's just, there's no denying it. He is one of the biggest chodas there's, there is. My version's better, thanks so much. Pride myself on my remixes. Is there a little log of wood around here or something? <clears throat> What's causing him to stop? It must, there must be, he must think that he was gonna hit a little piece of wood somewhere and that's why he stopped, but where? There's gotta be like a little bit of stump for him to stop. Found it. I know, that's an unidentified foreign object. No, that's just a flower. You can get a bird's eye and sometimes you can spot them as well, right? He's, um, he's missing a line here, but it's not, uh, it's fine. The, it, the pH levels are still looking really good, according to the, uh, the game. It's fine. Good. All right, let's load up some of this crap. Uh, there's nothing else that needs to be done except for liming and stuff, right? I'm pretty sure. Liming oh, and uh, cultivating as well. We don't need to do anything else. make a big olive orchard for double oil cells? I'm gonna try, yeah. I wouldn't mind trying the olive stuff and grapes. I haven't done either before. I think we need to save up some money first, though. I think the fact that he stopped back there means that there's maybe some log off to go investigate. The sheep are doing fine for now. They've got uh, food. They're producing wool. I think we can probably get a, uh, a fabric factory soon. What will I do with all the olive oil? Pro probably apply it to my my skin and my body, I, I think.
He's still struggling a lot, this guy, for some reason. I don't think there's anything in his way now. Oh, yeah, I need to wait. I forgot I need to wait to lift these things. That's why I left the weight here. God, I'm so smart. Even with the weight, it's touch and go. How heavy is this grass bale? It's pretty heavy. It's, it's heavy enough to lift the tractor. Alright, it was this side, wasn't it? I think there might be another little bit of stump or something on the ground. Um, the fabric factory? I'm not sure how much it is. I'll check in a second. Hang on. Um, do you see like a little stump anywhere? One little, like a, like a wedge, a wedge of wood. Does anybody see a, a wood wedge? Wood wedge. No, I don't see one. I don't know. I, th I think the AI just... Huge crack. They don't like the tree. No, it's just a bush. I should have no problem just running over it. Weird, eh? Just hates that bit in the middle there, too, for some reason. Rabs, are you home or are you still away? Is he still here? Maybe he's still at his mom's house. Oh, is he back in Bristol? Has he been streaming? Or is he streaming today? No stream, but he tweeted that he's back. Oh, okay, cool.
maybe there's like a little piece of wood or stump out here too that's causing some problems. Let's have a quick investigate. No, I don't see one. This is just the AI being the AI. Sixty-one percent. God, he's not. He's doing a great job. Really nice job. So he's doing such a good job. I don't even. I never want it to end. Yeah, I think I'll get course play when I get more fields to help manage the load. I might get the uh, that auto loader uh, mod as well. I feel like probably soon we won't really want to be manually loading stuff. And I, I think like uh, it, it it makes sense with the playthrough too, right? Like now that we have all this machinery and money and stuff, it would make sense that we'd have like some automation, even though there's not that level of automation in the vanilla game. But we can, we, for, for RP, we can just pretend that there's hired hands, you know, like in the warehouse or whatever. So maybe we'll get autoloader once we get the warehouse. And then that, that way we can, we can just pretend, we can just say, yeah, we bought this warehouse, it has staff in it, and that's how the stuff gets autoloaded. Because I think progress-wise, that'll feel kind of nice too, right? I need that. Uh, I need this tractor. Well, actually, I can probably use the other tractor. No, the other tractor is doing this. I need this tractor for um, this one or the other one for um, to cut the lawn. adding an auto loader to a tank no I was just gonna add uh, I was just gonna make it so that we could actually access stuff um, easier you know load up the um, load up all the products just drive up next to the loading platform and then it just auto loads it on right load water into the greenhouses yeah I don't know how to do that actually 
but I would consider it, yeah. Autoloader doesn't do fluids. Mostly, fluids are, mostly aren't so bad. It's just, it just seems to be the, the no man's land uh, water thing is so slow. I think we'll probably just ditch it and um, run back to the uh, to the shop if we get the big tanker. So it's much quicker to fill, right? Tanker fills to 53% per valve opening on that water tower for some reason every single time. Yeah, I know it's 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 really odd, isn't it? It's full now, but ah, great. You just bought a 200k truck to exclusively haul your water around to the greenhouses? That reminds me, there's nothing on sale. Yeah, I think um, we either get uh, some sort of modded truck or we, we're buying the, the big tanker and then just using the, um, the, big, the big truck that we have the trailer for. Oh, auto mod, uh, auto loader where you had to, where you paid uh, money, like, for somebody to do it would be really cool. Be a bit more realistic, right? In fact, like, most, most mods that, uh, make tasks easy, it'd be cool if there was an option where you could turn on having to pay to use it so that you could kind of simulate, you know, hiring somebody to, you know, seasonal work or whatever kind of like how we hire Al to do some of the field work right Got to get this last bit. Nice. Oh yeah, we got to do this other field too, right? We'll lime this one as well. Um, I'll go buy some more lime. Just in case. This is quite a big field, isn't it?
Man, I played a lot of played up, but I enjoyed every minute of it. It was a lot of fun. Half we used to wake up at like fucking stupid early hours, like three o'clock in the morning, her time, just to play. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, she doesn't fuck around, eh? Like if she's if she's playing something or she's into it, she's like a hundred percent into it. Oh shit! Almost lost the line. Do this uh, strip at the bottom here, and then I'll get the AI to do the uh, the rest. I don't know. He might catch up. bit of a miscalculation there from me, sorry. I think we missed a bit at the edge. What's up, Erica? How you doing? Did you get your computer? I saw some pictures. Nice. Well done. Enjoy. I hope uh, I hope you get some cool games. Maybe play some Minecraft like straight away. Get Minecraft on there, and then after you played like 700 hours and satisfactory right after that. Your two favorite games. I know, I know. I love joking around. Get some Hitman uh, Freelancer going. Oh, yeah. Or to actually try the, the new uh, Forens stuff on Sims 4. And let me know. Or House Flipper 2. What's the... What's the... Uh, what's the consensus on House Flipper 2? Is it good? Is it worth playing? Wait. Wait for it to cook a little.
Very good. Oh, okay. There's something wrong with this field. The, the AI just... I don't know what it is, though. It, the other one does the same, actually. Maybe it's, like, too long or something? Just cannot... The the field ahead of us, the, the other field, perfect. The AI doesn't get stuck on it or anything with this one for some reason. It's always that side, too. There must be a stump or something somewhere. It's haunted, yeah, it must be. Am I going to eventually connect all my fields into one giga field? No, probably not. So I need to plant a variety of stuff, so... Maybe a couple of giga fields, so... You know, like, maybe just, like, three really huge fields. Just mix 10 types of seeds in the cedar and get a mixed field. It's a great idea. That is a great idea. Just one of the best ideas. Okay, I almost missed this a little bit. Gifted me a sub to Pestily so I can play Tarkov together. Okay, thanks very much. I'll, I'll get right on it. Thank you so much, uh, our 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 arti, art, artifacts artifacts. Sorry, I had to look at your name for a very long time to even try to pronounce it. I feel like Pestily would love to play Tarkov with me. You know, he doesn't know it yet, but. It's just a matter of time. 
I feel like, you know? Do you think, uh, I feel like we could have, like, a really good, um, I feel like we would make, like, we would complement each other, you know? Not, not, like, hey, you're doing a great job, that, I would like a lot of that, too. Like, I would love it if somebody who's good at the game would turn around and just be like, man, you're, you're doing really good, <laughs> and stuff. Compliments, yeah, but I mean, like, compliments, like, you know, like, I could just go scurry around and loot and sort of do recon for him and say, hey, I just heard a noise in Sector C5, and then he could just go Robocop them all out of the way for me while I keep... You know what I mean? He wouldn't even need a, to, to carry all the big backpacks. I would just carry them all. I would be a little bit like... Um, Mr. Smee or something, like from... Uh, <laughs> from Peter Pan. Like, I'd be helpful. I'd be helping. I could just carry all the stuff. I know, I know how to hide. I know how to rat. I feel like I could be really useful. He, instead of just having one backpack, he could have, like, five backpacks. I would just follow him around and pick up all the cool stuff. I wouldn't mind. Clean that mower. It doesn't need to be cleaned. It's perfectly fine the way it is. Okay, he's done most of it, but he did leave a lot of it. He missed, um, oh, actually that was me that missed all that over there. done it we had to slow down the time considerably even then quite a bit of time has passed but we managed to get pretty much all of the jobs that we need to get done today done I can't find this little stump it's preventing these guys from carrying on with this field I'm sure it's around somewhere but I do not see it Yes, Chef. Yes. 
Yes, so much, yes. If I see a stump, I'll stop and get it, but I do not see one. Perfect! Great! It's a lot of dandruff, you're right. Mow in between the fields. Yeah, I should. I know. I'm just lazy. Really lazy. Start bailing up this grass. Just don't be lazy. <sighs> Come on. It's not as easy as that. ones. These ones are getting wrapped up. Right behind you. Nothing on sale. Double teaming this field. I'm not on sale, no. Do you come with the car? Oh, you. Now that I'm a veteran farmer, which part of my body hurts when the rain is coming? Um, my knee? Your knee gets sore, right?
I don't think I can pick this stuff up. I don't have access to this field. I guess we want to buy a new field pretty soon, but I think we want to get um, some more production going first, right? Probably need to get that big roller, too. Production um, factories. So what are we looking for? The spinnery? Yeah, so this is wool into fabric. So it's 60 grand for this. It's not that much, actually. We could get one of those built soon. Well, I'd say it's 60 grand. I mean, it's 60 grand, but it's not, it's not, uh, we're not like a million miles away from it. We could potentially get one, but I think we need the big roller. 120k for the big roller. Unless we can get it on sale or something, I don't know. <laughs> Dave the Diver is really good. Starts off pretty good, actually. It's interesting. Duckers, um, I played it as well, and I, th I thought it was pretty boring, too. Pa Palia? Palia? Paulia? <laughs> Paulie? I found it pretty boring, too. Yeah, it probably has had some updates. I don't know. I'm, I'm the same. It didn't really... I wanted to, to like it. I wanted to get into it. I was, like, when I first, like, found out about it, I was pretty excited to, to try it. But, um... I don't know. It just wasn't, like, uh, that interesting, you know? I don't know if there's real time stuff in it. Actually, I didn't <laughs> I didn't play it enough to find out. No, it's no dude in Alaska, you're right. Dude in Alaska currently vaporware, but one day we're going to have a gem on our hands. Just a couple more cheeky little bales here.
All right. We can not be on super slow time and we'll skip through the night load up the truck why are all these bales salmon pink because, um, I don't know. They're easier to see out here in the field. I gotta pick this stuff up, but the trailer's full right now. Alright, good. Bailing complete. Mowing complete for now, too. Let's start putting some stuff away. We, we're we're um, planting stuff tomorrow. So it'll be another busy-ish day, but not as busy as today was. Today was the big harvest day, so it was super busy. Wait, we gotta just seed and uh, roll tomorrow. Sell all the silage. Beep, beep, beep. Good. Good job, everybody. What a day. It's very satisfying when all the jobs are done, isn't it? Supermarket manager turned out to be vaporware. What was somebody working on it? Was somebody actually working on that? Let's see what that, what the state of this cedar is. I need some uh, fuel, and uh, I need to repair as well, and then I'll fill this thing up. So what do we want? Big bags of seeds? And we want some solid fertilizer. Let's uh, repair this thing.
Nice. Yeah, I know it is. It's expensive. The upkeep on um, stuff is pretty expensive. So we're doing um, canola and wheat, right? August planting. Good. Why is it still hanging on to it? I was pressing the button like a million times. <laughs> Still so much left. It's August. Sales? Oh, there is a winch and a yarder. I don't think we need those things. Either of them. Go sell a load. Um, we want canola in which fields do we want? Uh, to have what? So we're planting canola. Oh wait, we can't plant wheat until tomorrow. So we're just planting canola today. I think let's go canola across um, these three and then we'll do wheat and wheat. Actually, we should do wheat in one of the big fields, right? 
We'll do wheat in, in this field, and then we'll do canola in the far field. So we'll do canola, canola, canola. Wheat, wheat. Yeah? So canola, canola, and canola. All right. So we're planting tomorrow as well. Let's see if he stops. bit of guild wars i never really got into it though but a lot of people have told me that it's amazing and that they really enjoy playing it Last time we did the forbidden move, we had the uh, the combine harvester part there, right? We don't anymore. Oh, it's nice to have bread back on the menu. I'm gonna go have a little break in about half after this load. I'll go have a little bit of lunch, a lunchy punchy. Don't punch my lunch? Okay, I will. Whoa. All right, that's not going anywhere. This will probably be about 40k, maybe. More. Come on, it's about 60. Pretty good.
Hey, thanks, Jim. Merry Christmas. Uh, late Merry Christmas to you, too. Thanks so much. How are you doing? Oh, yeah, we got these uh, this silage to sell today, too. Let's make sure it's all set to go. These are all full. All right, so, ah, oh, they're not completely fermented yet. They're still 97%, uh, so we'll have to sell them later, it, later in the day, later in the day. Get, get the AI to start rolling it, and then I'm going to go and have a break. All right, chat. I won't be long. I'll be right back, okay? See you in a sec.
Oh no! Oh no! What happened? I think this is uh, not done actually. I think uh, who got in the way? I don't even know. Who got in the way first? This guy, probably, right? I think this guy might have got in the way of, of the other guy. I'm back, by the way. I didn't get tea either. No, no tea. Turning on the cedar. So that's the first um, canola field planted. Oh. Put that there so I don't miss it. What was for lunch? I had some uh, some vegetarian fish fingers with beans. I think that's what my kids were having for lunch, and there was extra. Mm -mm -mm. It's pretty good, actually. Surprisingly, vegetarian fish fingers are not that bad. They taste kind of good. is the <laughs> my expensive machinery uh, the next uh, the next one to do is uh, the the further away one right and we just gotta finish uh, this rolling as well. Finish the rolling. Oh, there's a bit, a little tiny bit missed there. It's fine though. All right, he can carry on with that while I take this over to the f further field, and then we'll do the small field as well, right? And then these two bigger ones will do wheat and I think that'll be the same setup we had last year for with oats canola and we should have enough canola all the way through I think I'm hoping and praying so this is just canola again I think 180 should see it all the way down. Not quite. I make water sounds for each vehicle, it would make my day. Oh my 
lips hurt a bit from the uh, vibrations. Randy, 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 good to see you, good to see you, good to see you. Hope everything is uh, A-OK -okay in Green Bay. How's it going? I had a great Christmas, Randy. Thanks so much for asking. How was your Christmas? AI might be re-rolling that whole field. Or is he done? Ah, he's just done. I missed the message. Eric, I did indeed get some socks. And uh, not only did I get some socks, I got some hamburger-themed socks from uh, Lewis. Lewis sent me some socks. Hot diggity dog. You're right about that. It's crazy. I think we're gonna run out of solid fertilizer here first, but we'll see, we'll see. This guy's done. You had to subscribe after the amazing motor sounds? Nice. Thank you. <clears throat> thanks for the... Wow, thanks for the fresh new T1 sub. Holy crap. All, it, all I had to do was do a couple of motor sounds. No problem. game sometimes. That is so annoying. What uh, what caused the stoppage here? There's no uh, trunk or anything. This will not go any further. It's like the haunted part of the field. I had uh, a thought over lunch about potentially changing this configuration around a little bit. Are you guys up for trying something wacky and maybe quite wild? I had a thought, I know, yeah, just the one. Just the one thought. You don't want to try anything wacky or wild? It might be really cool, though. see if this stuff is um, fermented yet. Okay, 
it's still 98%. Start rolling this. I missed the start. Ah, there we go. edge of the map. Look at this. I think I need some more solid fertilizer. It's not cheap, eh? to get the warehouse stuff set up so that we can grab we can put um you know just buy loads of bags and just um put them into our warehouse and then we would need to come good lord we would need to come all the way back to the uh the store every time we need a refill right No, I, I never got into Kenshi. I, I I need to play it though. A lot of people keep saying it's really good. But no, I I tried it and it was just uh, I couldn't really get into it. It's I think it, you need to give it quite a bit of time, don't you? It's like a big learning curve. What's Ken? I don't even really know how to describe it. Kenshi, it's like uh, it feels like a, like a sandbox RPG or something, right? You can you can with like there's like so, like base that you can build like bases and stuff in it. I think eventually, I could be wrong about that though. Brothers? I heard Battle Brothers is really hard.
like like rage meltdown hard. It's really unforgiving apparently, yeah. This is what I've heard about Battle Brothers. These guys seem off now. They seem to be able to to do this, to do these gerbs. Okay, they're fine. We have 60 sheep. The first the first batch of 20 sheep are nearing uh, maturity. These ones not so much. This is the this is the second. Uh, generation. These are the first ones. 40% reproduction. I don't know how to get that higher, but I don't know if you really need it to be any higher. Right? Probably not. There's still 82,000 uh, liters of oats to make flour for bread. That's good. Planks for furniture is fine, and there's still 120,000 liters of canola. Very good. Very good. Alright, so we'll seed this field and then uh, we will seed the smaller weird shaped one, right? Will be the next one that we seed. We should probably try to buy a new field uh, this year. And then we can make, um, get another oat harvest in. Thanks for the Green Bay shout out on the last, hey, no problem, Randy. I'm just trying to to build bridges with uh, Wisconsin after after all the troubles. I don't know if we have enough fertilizer. Ah, we probably do actually for the other field. The other field is mostly loam and sandy loam, right? It's fine.
Oops. I could line this up better. It's probably more like that. He's rolling. It's going to take a little while for the rolling to catch up. We'll, we'll have the other field seated before this guy's finished rolling this field, probably. <laughs> oh, man, pardon me. Just do this last bit. Oh my god, it takes so long for the thing to go down. a whole bunch of rolling up there too this part of the field is cursed i don't, I don't know what's going on with it. from your work kept sneezing and coughing with absolutely zero effort to cover his mouth and now I'm sick during my week off. Do you work in my garage? <laughs> back here to sort this out in a second, you son of a bitch. Let's see if we can find the, the bit that he hasn't done. It should be around here somewhere. There, I see it. Fucking hell. I, I don't know what's, uh, what's stopping that, honestly. It, there must be a stump, like, underground or something. I don't know. But... <coughs> tree out of the way what are you doing there it's my bad I should have cut it down the bit that he hasn't done is nah, I can see the whole thing here on a son of a bitch guys okay.
I don't know. Yeah, I, I just don't know what it is. This field is just something. There's something about it, you know? There's something. There's just a small magical curse or I, I don't know what the deal is. <clears throat> Hey, Rock Dice, thanks so much for the eight. Hey, Sips, how do you tell which clan a Scotsman is in? You lift up his kilt. If it's a quarter pounder, he's a McDonald. <laughs> nice. <coughs> Very nice. Is it tradition not to uh, wear any underpants under those things? Or was it just more, they just didn't have underpants back then, kind of thing? If you see somebody wearing one of those, can you safely assume they're not wearing underpants under there? Ask Ravs? I don't think I've ever seen Ravs wear one of them. Maybe he's just not like, uh, maybe he's not into, into the traditions, you know? Maybe he doesn't subscribe to those, the traditions. Subscribe. He let his subscription lapse. I think he can finish this now, probably. gonna leave a bit Okay, I'll finish this and then I'm gonna try something.
Is this a field for ants? Um, yes. This is where we store all of our ants. So unlike me. I don't think I was, uh, it must be just when I'm sitting at my computer because I don't think I was phlegmy even once over the uh, Christmas break. I store my ants in a field, yeah, I do. All right, planting done for today. And we're going to be planting wheat tomorrow in uh, these two fields, the big one here and then uh, that one over there. I'm going to go fill this thing up ahead of tomorrow. some more um, fertilizer. Oh my god, it's so expensive. This music feels like you're in a redneck elevator. <laughs> Bump. All right, wheat for tomorrow. Overwatch 2? Auto load trailer? 
Maybe it's like all in one. Platform auto load. Auto load pallet storage. Auto load bale trailer pack. Universal auto load. Universal auto load mod hub add on. Auto loading specialization for flatbed trailers. This automatically modifies the actual base game trailers and will be applied to any new or existing trailers on your farm. Please see the included readme file for instructions on adding to your own mod trailers or pallets. Loads any compatible pallet container types. Loads lumber to any supported forestry vehicles. Installed automatically on any compatible trailers. Load and unload by selected material or container type. You can also restrict loading to full pallets only. Select all to load mixed types in sequence. Mixed pallets are loaded in size order for best packing efficiency. Can interact with trailers when player is on foot, even when not attached to a vehicle. Special features for the Crone Trailer Profile Liner, which is the one that we use, I think. Load unload only available on the side that the curtain is open. Rear loading directly from forklift. Rear door and curtain can be opened and closed by player on foot. Well, that's cool. Configured for the following container types. Big bags, big bag pallets, Euro pallets, IBC liquid tanks, square bales, and potato boxes. Yeah. Packing efficiency. Yeah. All right. Let's get that one. And um, see how it goes. Dowie, are you ready for this one? Can we get the Land Rovers as well for no reason other than they look neat? Oh, yeah. Fair Lady 94, I ate tons of mini cheddars over Christmas. I hope you did too. I hope you had a good Christmas. All right, so... We'll test this out in a minute. Let's just make sure that we get this guy back on the case. So what's the deal then? You just park it close by and it'll it'll load up. Loading filter full only. Maybe we'll try it on the flower one first. So left shift R for start loading. And left shift I to unload. Okay, and then what happens if I say, what if I put this in here? Will it get loaded as well? Oh, I see it like rearranges it on the fly. Okay, so it's not just gonna, I need to go up to the, the thing and get it to load, right? Loading filter full only, any. You can drop it into the trailer and it will snap into place as well. It will load any full pallet on the open side. But, okay, 
but it'll only do it if I um, press the button for it to do it, right? Like, is there a way for it to just... If I park the truck up here, is there a way for it, when the, it spawns, to just automatically go onto the truck or not? So left shift I will unload it. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's cool. That's really good. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not so bad that you have to press it. Oh, it's yeah, it's way faster than hand loading. Yeah, it's just I'm not uh, I'm not complaining. I just um, I just wanted to an idea of like what uh, the uh, the limitations were, you know. I think the bales must be fermented now, yeah. It was like 98% two hours ago, so it should be done, right? Dream, dream has been achieved. Look. Three bales at once. The back tires are not touching the ground. My, all my little plants and schemes, they, they 
it fell apart that time. <laughs> it looks so silly with the wheels. The back wheels. Got a counterweight for the back, but it's not uh, not heavy enough. last load for now. Is this the, this is the Nebraska drift? Is this how they do it? In NB? Hey, uh, Zygmunt1771, thanks so much for the 300 bits. Finally caught you again on a live stream, but hey, work. Thanks for the shout out on behalf of the Vauders the other day. Zygmunt, thank you so much. Good luck at work. Uh, this is all fermented. It's fine. Sell it. Yeah, the trees across the road grew back, and then uh, the ones on the other side have all grown as well. There's just, there's so many trees, we just haven't needed to chop them yet. Alright, we're going to sell all this silage, since it's all ready to go. This should be a little bit of money, honestly. A full load of silage. over 20k for a whole load. It's not bad.
Poopies get an Xbox this year? <laughs> no, he did not. He did not. He did get some Fortnite V-Bucks, though. He got, yeah, specifically, he got some money, and he's like, and we're like, what are you gonna do with your money? He's like, can I get V bucks? Ah, uh, okay, all right, fine. So that's what he got. Uh, I think this guy has done his job. needs rolling. Okay, so we just gotta roll that other field now. I'm not thrilled about the whole V-Bucks thing, but, I mean, at the same time, I see so he's a little kid, right? I remember being excited about dumb shit when I was a kid as well. I don't want to, like, take that away from him. Your niece got a million presents, but then she just wanted to jump on the bed and play hide-and-seek? Yeah, I, I mean, that's kids for you. I spend money on games, yeah, but I, I, I don't spend that much money on all the extra crap. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really buy like V Bucks or anything like that, unless it was like a like a Wu Tang <laughs> promotion. <laughs> In which case, then yes, I would, but it's different. Yeah, co I like cosmetics. I'm not mad on. I, I, I like cosmetics if I can. Uh, earn them like in game I don't like paying for them within reason <laughs> whoa it does Oh my god, it actually just auto stacks it for you if you don't want to use the the super cheaty thing. I do want to use the super cheaty thing though. I think it's time now. I think it, it I think it is it is we're overdue now, right? Small greenhouse, medium, large, lettuce? Doing one of each. But we're gonna put them in a place where it's easier to just load them up, right? Oh, that overlaps. Silo extensions? Time to just get some lights in here too. 
Maybe, maybe it has been time for quite some time. It's all changed now. Finally, some flood. I know, I know. Finally, some floodlights. Cash rules everything around me. Cream get the money. Dollar dollar bills you all. Dollar dollar deep dob dob doop doop doop. Dollar 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 bills, y'all. Dollar dollar bills. Um Randy Calrees, thanks so much for the thousand bits. Big time a big time mucho appreciado as usual, thank you. Okay. Production. Factories. Buildings. Where does it come under? Silos? No. Where does the wa where's the water thing? Container? What's here? Is there a way that I can... Oh, maybe there is actually. Hang on a second. struggling here. There we go. Okay. Now I wonder if Yeah. I can fill it from here too. And then I can just start uh I can I can start uh, filling it from here too, right? That's great. I don't really need to move this now. pretty good I'll just have to to use the uh, water valve every once in a while right no spare capacity for water sure I 
I built I I basically just built my own pipe. Okay, and for my next trick, let's see if this actually works. Oh, <laughs> my streamer. <laughs> if I park this thing, like, in the middle here, will it load up both? Because I think it will. We're going to try it, and it's going to be fantastic. we can uh, use universal auto load to load logs onto stuff too we should try that Maybe not, actually. I don't think you can. I don't think you can auto-load these things on. Uh, actually, I'm missing a log. Where did it go? Yeah, hey, I'm missing a log. Oh, the greenhouses probably aren't growing anything. No, I need to configure them. This is a bit cheaty, but I thought I could, uh, I'm missing a log though. Oh no, it's here. Never mind. Oh, I thought I could, uh, auto load, uh, big logs on here too. Maybe this trailer doesn't work. you can but they have to be small enough to fit i i don't have the uh oh i see oh you might be right okay let's try that out so what do you think five is too big oh yeah you and you can do it from here look oh it says logging area is full So it's because they were five, that's why. Oh god. 
So what should I cut them at? Like four meters? That's cool. Oh, that's what a great mod, honestly. That, that's so much better, isn't it? Jesus. I am, I am the, the, the chainsaw, I, I am the, I am the law, I'm the law. I'm excited. Strapped in. I know we're so close to that billion now. I can just, I can, I can almost taste it. The, uh, the thing is uh, just a little tiny bit lopsided. it's trying <laughs> stay on stay on there you go
log. Alright. Let me just use my uh, incredible barbarian strength to uh, just move some of these logs out of the way. If I get angry enough, it's realistic. I mean, I could, I could definitely move this stuff, no problem. No, the truck's not filling up. You gotta, you gotta press the button. Has he actually done the whole thing? Oh, he's missed a little bit. It's fine. I'm gonna roll in this last rock and then this is another job done. I'm gonna have to go around and pick up all those bales in a sec too. And the roller is ready for tomorrow. So I'm pretty sure that's, yeah. So we're just planting two wheat fields tomorrow, September. I'm gonna plant them and roll them. And then, uh, and then we're good to uh, just sort of blast through the uh, the winter. We might have to chop down some more trees and stuff, but that's fine. Start saving maybe for some. I think the next thing that we're gonna buy is probably. Um, I don't know if the roller is that critical right now. I I thought we would need it, but it's not so bad. We'll buy the spinnery next. Uh, in fact, we'll probably buy it right now. Since it's 60 grand. Is there a different one? Yeah, there's this one here. Okay, I think we're just going to put this thing... Uh It looks like it loads and unloads in the same spot, right? I'm going to put it here so that we can get um, the stuff here easier, right? The, uh, the wool.
Doctor. Yes. Thank you, Chef. All right, let's go pick up these bales. Let's get uh, production going for this. So we want fabric wool for now. another little trailer yeah and I'm gonna get some uh, wool delivered in a sec to the fabric factory Look at this aircon unit. Oh my god. They are living it up in there. Got some fresh aircon. Protected from eagles. <laughs> good question. God, good, great question. Um, is the aircon unit eagle proof? Fuck. So many of them aren't. You know, it's a it's a damn shame. in there and gets his beak inside the fan forget it you're gonna be burning up <laughs> look at this trailer <laughs> jesus christ i just wanted i just want something <laughs> so small uh, this is a throwback speaking of throwbacks holy crap remember when we used to have one of these and we used to log all of our log log all of our log all of our logs does this thing work with uh, universal auto load i guess we'll find out in a sec what the hell is that trailer i know it's like <laughs> it's like it's like a little duplo trailer
Yeah, we used this trailer with the four-wheeler. I'm pretty sure we... This is the one that we stacked all those square bales on that one time, too. It was supposed to like uh, automatically put stuff on, but I guess not. So glad that the <laughs> fucking thing that holds the the connects the <laughs> it's strong. Oh man, that's good. Ah, oh, that'll do. That'll that'll do. You can only uh, load full, or you can go any. Oh, it doesn't like it. We're not close enough to it. There you go. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just leave this this guy over here and put him on. Uh, he's on duty. He's on. He's on duty. All right, we're now making some fabric, which we will be um, not storing. We want to distribute this, so we want it to be used for clothes eventually, right? get the uh, I can't get the one behind just I think it's got to be at the front so I might have to go yeah I'll have to back up like a little bit uh. <laughs> uh, it's not the way I would load it but <laughs> it's fine I guess Yeah, we need a forage wagon ahead of uh, next year, right? See you later, Milchin. Have a good one. 
I hope you had a good Christmas. Spinnery! More progress being made. Very nice. Yeah, we I I did a new layout for the greenhouse to make it a little bit less annoying. Uh because we got the uh we got the auto load mod as well. The RP is that we've we've now just hired more people to work on the farm who are stacking things for us because it's it got annoying. We can still we can still run huge loads back to the uh, shop, but we just don't have to do them by hand anymore. Nicely stacked, yeah. All right, these things are fermenting. So there's 8,000 liters of wool making um, fabric that is distributing. It has nowhere to distribute to, so I guess it's just kind of storing it in outgoing products until we build um, the clothing place, right? Which is clothing, 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 tailor shop. It's 100 grand for the tailor shop. Now the tailor shop will probably put up here somewhere. I like maybe even here. Could be good. Or something like that. So the output is like here. So we might put it here. And then when we're we, we got kind of a route that we take with the truck, right? And then that will uh actually maybe we'd want it more like here if it's doesn't overlap too much there. Because then we can, like, pick up the oil, and then we can, like, pick this up right after. Or, or something like that. You know what I mean. Like, maybe, like, here. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. And then we'll be able to sell clothes as well. That would be pretty sweet. All right. I think we're good for fields, right? We've done all the field work. Um, it says that there's weeds in those two fields, but they will be seeded tomorrow, right? But these ones have been seeded with canola, and we're doing wheat tomorrow. Perfect. I don't... The fabric factory needs wool, yes. But you can't... Uh, wool is uh, not something that you can distribute from an animal pen. It's not a factory, so you, we have to manually move the wool every day into the spinnery which would make the fabric but then the fabric is being made in a factory which can then be distributed so that's why we left the tractor over here because it can come and do this stuff and then also feed the sheep we could probably do with having another sheep pen soon the swirling spindle a swirling spindle. Anything on sale? No. All right. We got light. Uh, we got lights here now too, which is pretty good. So this is. Currently emptying, filling up the greenhouses. <laughs> I love my new life. 
That's so good. And check it out. If we want to do manual ones, uh, you could just chuck it in. Look, boom. It, it just auto loads it. I don't think you could throw it in, though. You got to be holding it. Oh, it's so good with the with the big light too. I don't need to use my flashlight anymore. We can have a lumber yard over here. Oh, that is great. That is just great. It's raining. Can, can I actually open the back door? <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. New configuration confirmed. That's so much better. And we just empty the truck. Okay, we gotta get the bees back up and running, but. It is September. Look at this load. Thank God that tree is quite in the way. Can we do this? Oh my God, it's, it got caught on the open door. from there it's some of this is going to be a bit of trial and error right figuring out where you have to load it from and stuff you might be able to do it from here saying that the loading areas I wonder if we can pick up the bread I thought it was I thought it was gonna make uh, really good stacks but it seems to be not efficient with the stacks we might have to come back for another load unload it all and then reload it okay let's try That's even worse. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Stacks of one. 
Yeah, why is it doing stacks of one? You can fit way more on here. Okay. Why isn't it stacking stuff on top? I guess he can't stack the flowers. I mean, uh, looks like it. No. Nope. Crazy. It, uh, as soon as you hover over like the flatbed, it, it cuts off your your grip on the thing, which is, I guess, the point as at which it would auto load it for you. We're gonna have to come back and load it. Oh, that's it's it's kind of inefficient. I was like, I was used to to running full trailer loads, but I think it's the flowers that mess it up. I didn't even have the straps on this. Bread, bread looks like it stacks. It's stacked bread at the back. But flowers, it, it does not stack. I don't know how much we made there. Because it basically sold in like three loads. Try lo loading filter to full only. It, may, it might work, but I think the flat. Oh, no, pardon me. I think the flowers just don't want to stack on top of each other. Oh, thank you.
Yeah, it doesn't really use like the full width of the trailer either, which is kind of annoying. It did not strap. <laughs> oh, because I manually loaded it, didn't strap the thing. <laughs> Well, these, these pallets all seem fine. They seem to stack them just fine. Maybe mushrooms are fine, but flowers are not. Tent. I know! I know! Now we got a little shack! God, I can't believe we started with just a tent. You remember the shovel? I remember the shovel! I remember the shovel a lot. I think we got to weed um, these fields as well. We could probably get Al to start on that. Okay, you can start that. Um, we'll come back to you in a second. Everything that was planted yesterday needs to be weeded. Oops. job. She's not even worth doing that. It's not a full uh, full load. We'll wait for it to be a full load, right? I, I mean, we're not doing anything with this right now anyway. So we've got 1,107 liters of fabric and we still have 6,000 liters of wool. Two wool, two wool for one fabric. Any sales? Look at this forage wagon. Look at the capacity. It's 53,000? Half price, 250 horsepower? This is this is what we want. This is the one that we want. Yeah, we're buying it. Just the easiest, easiest buy.
Okay, I won't load up the flowers just yet. I might actually just start storing flowers here and we'll do them on their own run. Or even maybe use the other trailer for flowers if it's going to cause huge problems. We got the forage wagon that we wanted to collect straw um, next year after the uh, wheat harvest, so we don't have to bale it anymore. It's good. The grass is ready to harvest again too. Oh shit. planting uh, wheat and canola again to keep up with the uh, production. We might need to look into if we want to get serious about clothing. Actually, we need to upgrade our furniture um, place as well, right? It would be really good. Pump out some more furniture. It sells for pretty good. And then clothing. If we want to get serious about clothing, I think we need cotton. I don't think sheep alone is going to keep us uh, caught up. Games permadeath. I'll oh, be careful. The auto load thing uh, is is cool. It, it, it seems good. It's not exactly what I expected, but it's. I think it's still pretty good. Not cheaty enough. No, exactly. Yeah, I was hoping that it would be way more cheaty. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, we're still a ways away from our our ultimate goal. Just looking for something to try to speed things up a little, you know. I thought that Universal Autoloader was the ticket, the golden ticket. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> any day now. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I should buy a selling point. They're what they're like five grand. calculated that big time. What the hell is wrong with this thing? Need to be repaired or something? Like, why is it fucking collapsed in the middle? The, the rollers aren't even working. How's he doing with the weeds? He's doing well. It doesn't look like he's stopped for any reason either, so he's just just cracking on. We need to go and refill our um, seed and uh, fertilizer in between fields here, probably.
Do 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 do. probably get a bigger weeder at some point. I think the one that we have right now is not the biggest. It's this one, right? Nine meters? Twelve, fifteen meters? Be good. Fudge. Pardon my French. this last bit and then we just need to go and uh, refill this thing check to see how our man is doing with the weeding he's doing really good he's almost done once he's done he can go and do the other field
All right, we're gonna get the other guy rolling this field since it's now been seeded. And then we'll get the Valtra without weeding the other fields since the Valtra can pull that weeder, but maybe not so much the roller. It struggles a bit with it, I think. We just got one more field to do, though. Worker E has completed his task. All right, we'll swap uh, tractors over for those guys and then get the, the voucher weeding that other field. There's still this field that needs to be weeded as well. Maybe we'll get them started on this one. Actually, it's huge. Honk it like I mean it. Okay, I'm honking. I'm honking? I misjudged that again. Ultra. I think he missed a little bit. He, de he definitely did. Looks like it's just this bit on the edge. horror movie watcher? No, I am not. I do not like horror movies.
I played Resident Evil 7, I could not handle it. I was so scared. Yeah, if you yeah, if you want to watch uh, horror, watch me play Dota 2. Or or any other game for that matter. Right. Let's get this guy deployed in this other field since this is weeded now. We're going to have to do some weeding tomorrow too. Am I an erotic movie watcher? No, I don't think I would sit through an entire erotic movie. Yeah, two minutes. Exactly. All right. I'm trusting you. Let's see if... Uh, let's follow him and see exactly where the issue is in this field. Because the, we know there is one, right? It's probably coming up in a minute. He'll get to a point where he just won't carry on. And then I'll just uninstall and go play Overwatch 2. Maybe... Oh, maybe actually, you know what I might play instead? What was that game um, with all the waifus in it? Ark, that's fuck. I could not think of the name of that game for a sec. Lost Ark. I've seen it. I've seen the wood. It was uh, it was up here somewhere. It's here. Oh, ho, 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 sneaky. That is sneaky. So those stack, but these do not. refueling this guy just yet. He's trying to do his favorite reversal move. Coyote gets fed up with Acme's defective product, so he takes them to court. Well, it's about time. <laughs> the amount of times that Wily Coyote has been screwed over by Acme's laughable product range. I mean, with like a 0% reliability in most cases. He 
you dare me to do better? Maybe I will. Just as soon as I make my billion in this game, I'm on it. I'm gonna I'm gonna make Acme great again. <laughs> This guy is doing a great job. He's he's it looks like he's tried to do the very edge of the um, field here too, which is commendable. Normally Al gives up at the end of the field. He's tried. He has tried. there's something costs a billion no but eventually we'll get into uh, the realm of um, buying up uh, power structures which will give us money for nothing and that'll be a, a, a good way to make a ton of money every month on top of like productions and stuff we'll have like uh, big wind turbines and all sorts of stuff No, there's no nuclear power plant. But there's like the there's like the biogas stuff. There's oh, I love this song. This one's so good. Honestly, I'm pretty rich right now, but it's all, um, it's all, um, assets. <laughs> I just don't have, I don't have any money, but I have a lot of machines and buildings. Let's see if we can figure out the issue with this uh, side of the field now as well. There's got to be a stump or something. Al seems to always get stuck here, right? Al Worker J cannot be done. Oh, look, he's... He's done it again. Oh, Al Worker J has probably done s seeding, right? The other field. Okay, I think it's coming up in a minute. I don't see anything. All 
Oh, it seems fine. Huh, I don't know. You done? Yes. Growing. Perfect. Alright, just needs to be rolled after that other field's rolled. Oh my god, look at the uh look at the fertilizer this left. <laughs> Fifty-eight liters. Shit. There's, it must be an underground stump, right? Because there's no, uh, there's not like a little bit of wood here or anything. Not that I can see anyway. It might be moles? Oh yeah, it could be. Yeah, you're right. Thought about moles. Might be moles. Could be it could be Middle Earth, yeah, I didn't think of that either. Could very well be Middle Earth. Could I ex excavate down a little bit where the workers stopped to reveal the stump? Maybe. But I think it'll... It'll fuck up my whole field. interrupted him. He seems to be doing okay. Oh, 
I think I'm getting something. I don't know what it is, though. Somebody's coming out here. What is it? Oh, are they both for me? You don't want them. Oh, okay, thank you. What are they? Like little rolls. Reindeer cakes. Mm, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Reindeer cakes. Okay, it's time to mow the grass. Is it made of reindeer? Uh, no, I don't think so. Probably is actually. Mow the lawn. Who me? Walk the dog. Not my style, man. Take out the trash. No way! Tired of your room. Hey, look, I'm exposing a lawn mowing path left by Al last time. It's like being a uh, like an archaeologist. I think mowing the grass is probably one of the most satisfying things in this game, isn't it? It's really nice. Especially when you do it well, unlike, unlike how I'm doing it right now. Two of these bad boys, by the way. Two reindeer cakes. Mm. Made with real reindeer. Probably a better way of doing this where the you can keep like the line straighter. Five pounds, oh my god. I've gained like five hundred pounds. The holidays fuck I've eaten so much. Yeah, you're right. I, I, I am. I'm just bulking. Getting, um, 
getting myself uh, bulked up so that I can just turn it all into huge muscle. That's my New Year's resolution. I want to become Miss World. Just go to the gym once, like Lewis? Yeah, that's a good idea. See if I can find a personal trainer who will put up with my social quirks. personal trainer. Can you imagine? I feel like uh, I would have like really muscular ass cheeks and nothing else. The rest of me would be like Mr. Blobby and then but like really ripped muscular ass cheeks. I think I could be a farmer. You know what? If uh, all my time playing this video game has taught me anything, um, it's that, yeah, I could definitely be one. Uh, and and maybe, you know, I should be one. Maybe I should think about being, being one, actually. Um, because the... Um, All the all the uh, all the hours I lie I logged in uh, Flight Simulator, I think translate into me be being able to be a a pilot as well, or at least if I was having a conversation with an actual pilot, I'd put him straight. You know, I would say, "Nah, listen, you don't know what you're talking about." Yeah, I think just because they do it all the time that they they know everything, and it's like, well, you don't know everything, okay? Is it closed? Oh yeah, it's closed. Just like on the farm, I think the only thing I'd struggle with on the farm, and I'm sure you guys will agree with me if you've played uh, this game at all as well, is that there's certain things that you can only learn on the job. You know, like you have to kick the baler three times before it'll start in the cold and stuff like that. That kind of stuff you 
you can't read in the textbook. You only know by living it or playing Farming Simulator 22. It's the same thing with uh, Flight Simulator, you know? Sometimes, like, the engines just don't sound right. So you just gotta override the, uh, the, the computer systems and rev them up a little bit in midair with 500 people on board. You know, like, you just gotta, sometimes you just gotta trust your gut. And in, in my case, there's a lot to trust there. A lot. I mean... Mostly my gut's just doing the flying as well. As I'm snoring, and my, my gut expands and retracts, it makes for a really smooth flight experience. What if your gut is doing somersaults from a sketchy taco buffet? Well, that's why I signed up for the job. I just wanted to go in the lounge and have the free taco buffet before each and every one of my flights. Yeah, I'm in there. I got the hat, my hat on. I got the stripes. Everybody's like, how much time have you logged in the simulator? And I'm like, check my Steam page. like 8,000 hours Microsoft Flight Simulator I've got all the DLC as well and that Im immediately that puts all the VIP passengers at ease they're like oh man this guy knows what he's doing easy No, this is not the topic of Triforce many years ago. This was probably the topic of Triforce like two weeks ago. <laughs> we talked about this. I think somebody mailed in at some point and said, you guys ever play a game so much that you think that if you're in a high pressure situation in, in real life, for example, like if you're on a plane and you there's nobody available to fly because the pilot passed out you could jump in the cockpit and just take over and probably land that sucker <laughs> I don't know about you guys but every time I play flight sim I have to the computer basically has to do the takeoffs and landings for me they're so tricky to do manually I always crash the plane Landing especially is super hard. Holy crap. You're coming in, you think, oh, yeah, it's fine. You know, good trajectory, like, um, wheels are straight. <laughs> They're deployed as well. Have I seen a Tom Scott video about all that? No, I haven't seen that. So is he... So he does the flight sim, and then he and then he gets the tower to to help him land an, an actual plane. He must have somebody next to him too, though, right? Just in case. Just land? Yo, oh, I mean, yeah. Don't worry, I intend to. One way or another, <laughs> this thing's going down. Yeah, I could land a plane easily. Most planes land at 900 miles an hour into the side of a cliff, right?
Did I crash when I gave a tour of the childhood? No, I think we survived that one, actually. I'm pretty sure we, we, uh... Oh, no, no, we did. I think we crashed in the baseball diamond. Close to my old house. Ever hear the conspiracy theory that airplanes aren't real? I've never heard that one, no. There's a conspiracy theory that airplanes aren't real. The ones that are in the sky are holograms, right? And what? So the ones that you go on are just like... Like Truman Show style, you go on and there's like all these like sound effects and <laughs> and stuff to make you think like. <laughs> I believe that. Like a 3D motion simulator. Oh man, yeah. Oh yeah, I could believe that. They just changed the scenery outside. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I mean. There's no way you can prove to somebody People, when, when somebody believes a conspiracy theory, there's no way you can prove to them otherwise. Because they always hit you with, like, those air-type arguments. And it's usually something like, yeah, of course they're real. And then they say, well, prove it. And you're like, well, he's got me there. I don't actually have easy access to an airplane at the moment. Um, not even anywhere close to the airport right now, either. Have I ever heard that one? Uh, I, I have heard that. Not in relation to planes not being real. I'm only hearing about this for the first time right now, but I have been hit with the Prove It one. A couple of times, and every time it goes down the same. The I went to a dinner one time. I was invited to a dinner, and it was like a uh, you know exploring Christianity thing. Don't ask me why I went. I was I was young at the time. I didn't go because I wanted to explore Christianity. It was a guy I was working with at the time was like, "Oh, you should come and meet these people. It'd be really fun, you know. It's so good. It's like there's a lot of people who talk about like all sorts of stuff, not just Christianity or whatever." I was like, "All right, fine, whatever." Like, you know, they were like they were they were doing like a curry and stuff. So I was like, "Well, whatever. At least I'll get to eat like some dinner or whatever." So I went along. And, um, it was fine for, like, the first couple of, like, you know, for, like, half an hour or whatever I got there. And, uh, you know, just, like, introducing yourself to people and stuff. And then, uh, we were sitting down eating. I was like, you know what, this isn't so bad, you know? Like, it's, you know, people aren't really talking about the Bible or, or, or anything like that, you know? Maybe these people are just kind of chill or whatever. But... They, they wait for you to sit down at the table because it's a lot more awkward to give you like the third degree when everybody's sitting there and listening. So we started eating. They're like, so, um, do you believe in God? I was like, ah, nah, not really. And they're like, well, why not? I was like, well, I don't know. I can't really see him. So, you know, I just don't believe in him. He's like, so you, 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 you just, you don't believe in stuff that you can't see? 
And I was like, well, no, not necessarily. I just don't know if I believe in God. And, um, and they were like, well, um, do you think he exists? And I was like, no. And they're like, well, can you prove it? <laughs> it's like, well, no, not right now. <laughs> I'm eating. <laughs> like, I can't. I, I don't. I, can't, I don't have like a smoking gun on me right now where I can prove it to you. And then I said, well, can can you prove that he that he does exist? And then they they were they they were just like, well, he left behind scriptures and his son and all this stuff and I was like yeah I know but like do you have that stuff on you right now and can prove that it's from him it's like it was ridiculous it was so stupid like the whole thing but everybody was like really like mm, yeah mm, oh like I was really like under a lot of pressure and then in the end I just said oh you know what yeah I do believe in him and then we just finished eating It was, it was, it was, it was bizarre. It was just one of those, you know. I mean, there was a lot of people there, too. It was kind of wild. I, do you know what, though? I didn't, I didn't once really feel, like, overly, I didn't feel, like, angry or anything either. Do you know, after I left, I just felt kind of, I felt like like uh, like pity. <laughs> I pitied them a little bit, cause it's weird. It's just fucking kind of weird, isn't it? I don't know. You get one. You get one life. At the end of the day, like, and it's it's short. You don't get that much time, really. Some people less than others too, right? I have, like believe what you want, but don't invite somebody over for dinner and put them on the spot. I don't like I I, just, I don't I don't mind like if people want to believe that the earth is flat or that airplanes don't exist or whatever I mean if if that's fun for you or or if that's your reality or whatever fair enough I uh, okay. enjoy yourself but don't invite me to dinner and then put me on the spot try to convince me because <laughs> I'm just trying to eat here and yeah, and don't become a pilot either, jeez. Can you prove my dad doesn't work at Nintendo? No, I can't. You tell you tell my pastor whatever you like, okay? We're on the same page, me and Ron. We know what's up. We're just two fun-loving OGs. Just, just out, out to have a giggle, you know? Just want to have a big giggle. Um, this guy has finished rolling, and he's actually done a really good job, too. What if somebody who doesn't believe in airplanes goes through the whole process of getting a license to fly and flies for like 10 years, but still just doesn't buy it? Well, again, you do you. I don't want to talk about it in an ambush situation at dinner. Is my only thing. Do not ambush me at dinner with any of your your stuff and we're good. What if you wait till after dinner? Wait till... Okay, do it at dinner if I'm not there. Do it after dinner if I've already left the table and I'm, like, uh, out having a smoke or whatever. That's that's your chance. That's your chance. Because I have a radar for this kind of stuff. If I walk back into a room, I can instantly detect if things are awkward and I know not to go into the room. 
you, you, you develop this over time, I think. But, I mean, I've been to many parties and, and, and stuff in the past where I've walked into a room and you can sense the atmosphere immediately. You've just come in from, like, being outside, you know, having a smoke or whatever. You're like, you know what? It's time for another smoke. Out you go. <laughs> it's f I'm not fucking staying here. Yeah, it's the Simpsons in and out GIF, exact, exactly, that's the one. Yeah, it's gonna use the bathroom and then climb out of the window, yeah? You had almost this exact same conversation with your in-laws over Christmas and it was extremely awkward and they're very religious? I, I Equally, I've spoken to and met plenty of religious people who don't put you on the spot and I've met lots of religious people who are like um, really uh, not self-deprecating but like uh, like they have a lot of humility with it you know they're not like they don't throw it in your face and a lot of the reasons they are they they're into all of the things they're into or it's more like for community and, and stuff I respect that I really like that and I like, I like that I like being around uh, people who are like that too, who believe in something that I don't necessarily believe in, but neither of us. Um, it, it doesn't matter, you know. Like we can still get to get together and have like a, a fun time, and even have a chat around it or poke fun at the fact that I don't believe in it and they do or whatever, and it's and it's all fine, you know, like. I think if you find people like that, though, those are the people that you stay you, you stay close to, right? You, you keep the, them in your pocket, right? If you can. And the ones that ambush you at, at dinner are the <laughs> are the ones that you uh, that you sack off almost immediately. It is hard to find people like that, but when you do find, that's why when you find them, you gotta hang on to them. Think of all the good people you find in, in your lifetime versus the amount of shitty people you meet in your lifetime. It's uh, incredible, the gap, isn't it? Okay, I'm not going to put these too close to the shed this time because it's crazy. You're religious? Good. Well, I mean, again, I... I don't know. I, I don't... If, if you're... If you're... If you're whatever you are... I, I, I'm pretty easy. Like, I, I don't mind. It's not for me to mind or not either, right? I just don't believe that airplanes actually exist. Is all I'm trying to say. I just think every time I've been on one, I've looked outside and it's looked fake as shit. And I've I've often thought this must be simulated. Like there's no way I'm in the air. covers most conspiracies some uh, sometimes you you watch something or you read something that is based in conspiracy or whatever and you you can almost say like wow my god you know I, cu I could actually believe this it's not so far-fetched or whatever but but then some of them are just so absurd that it's really hard to ever even imagine <laughs> <laughs> Being able to believe it. 
I mean, you really would really need to try. <laughs> like, like, try hard. They play a video game when you're in the airplane and then they use quantum fluctuations to teleport you? A guy at Greg's told me. See, again, I like... Now, when you get into the more technical aspects of it, I feel like I can, I can believe it. You're the guy who had to 3D model all the rocks? Uh, you could just do it in the uh, Planet Zoo engine, though. That's probably what they use for the... Have you ever looked... you ever looked at your zoo from very far away on Planet Zoo and, and admired how realistic it all looks? They must just use that. They just use the Planet Zoo engine to for the plane simulation stuff. I'm sure of it. Huh! <laughs> Takes one. It took one midair. GTA 6 is using the Planet Zoo engine. Nice, nice. I think that's. I think that's a great move. I think Rockstar. It's about time. Rockstar got their shit together. You know. I think the tank moved ever so slightly. Quantum fluctuations are the reason my piss pressure isn't what it used to be? You often see hundreds of people asking for refunds when I look out of plane windows? I know, you can see the whole simulation just starts to, to tank big time. That doesn't make any sense. Why are those people queued up asking for refunds down there? This guy has not finished the task. <coughs> you think The Traitors is worth watching? We're thinking of uh, watching it uh, the first season uh, tonight because we didn't watch it when it was on. But after watching Survivor, we we're like, kind of want to watch some sort of game show, you know? Like, not like a game show, but, you know, like that kind of thing. The traitors. Last year was great. Which one, though? The the UK one, the with the one with Winkleman, or are you talking about like the US one? Dan's gonna be in the US one. The traitors, yeah, on Peacock. Taskmaster, I've watched a bunch of. Yeah, I like Taskmaster. Mm. Oh, I didn't watch the uh, the Yogs uh, Traders thing, or the uh, Taskmaster one either. Actually, are they good? I can do the rest of this now. He's done. No, no, he's not done. I tell you what, the rolling's almost done. Uh, actually, they're, they're both almost done. We still can't really advance time uh, just yet, though. Because uh, this stuff needs to be done before it ticks over into October, right? Boom, boom, boom. 
I demand more Winkleman. I don't think I need any more Winkleman. I'm a bit winkleman out. Okay, I think I can probably finish one of these jobs. Probably not this one, because it sucks. Ah, this one sucks too. Roll in this whole field. They're, they, these guys are already doing such a good job, right? I might just do like a little uh, mini load. There's, there's some money on this right now, right? Go pick up... Um... Hello? <laughs> oh, shit! Straps? What the hell? Oh, God. <laughs> Look at all this shit came flying out. <laughs> oh, I should have checked the straps. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sorry, I'm. I keep accidentally picking up the truck. Oh, I'm missing a couple of, a couple of boards here too. Ooh. Nice. <sighs> okay, now she's strapped in. Phew. Okay, let's try this new route and see. Alright, this one, I don't know what the deal is. I think we have to manually load the planks because of the output of that sawmill. It's like all over the damn place. did accidentally pick up the entire truck. I've got some, like, some god hands. I don't think there's a full pallet of eggs even to pick up yet. We'll have an even bigger load uh, tonight, right, once we um, advance time. I think this this load's gonna be like 20k or something. It's like just it's just just a little tiny one. Just a little something to wet our whistle with. 30k, not bad. 30 like pushing 31. It's not bad. Okay, Outworker F has completed his task. Let me just check in on him and see what's going on. So flowers, we're just gonna take separately. We'll do like a, a separate load for flowers. Oh 
Okay, I'll work her F. Which one are you? This one? I see that you haven't actually completed your task, but that's fine. I'll do the last little bit. Claim all the glory. I played Battlegrounds this morning and won, and uh, I did it with uh, an undead comp. Oh man, it was great. The the first place was the uh, that undead guy that when he dies, he's reborn, but he gives your your guys uh, attack and uh, and health. I can't remember his name. Uh, then after that, I had the um, Anubarak one. You know the um, the one that gives your undead attack no matter where they are. I had him golden, and then I had a, a one of those crappy reborn taunts, and then I had uh, I had Baron at the end. I had the one that um, reborn brings back a uh, one of those uh, knights. Eternal Knights or whatever, you know, the ones that um, scale every time they die. I had her. And I had the one that uh, spawns, like, the hands as well. Fuck, he missed a bit. Oh, no, he's still on that field. What am I talking about? Okay, the weeding's done. And um, I didn't think I would win because, like, I'd, I wasn't scaling that much. And I, and I did win. Because uh, it turns out that uh, with, uh, with Rivendare and then... The spell, which gives your death rattles um, even more. Oh, and I had the bird, the one that triggers the dre the death rattles at the start. So everything would get tons of health and attack and stuff. And then as stuff was dying, you get they'd get even more health and attack. Fuck, it was wild, actually. It was so good. Moros, yeah, that's the one. I had him in... in uh, in first place. He was in first place so that everything got uh, the health and the... That was good. It was great. Yeah, it was really neat. It worked out really good. That that bird... Uh, the, uh... You know the beast where the, uh... The tentacles... is the It's like the tentacle beast where the tentacles scale. They pop out of them, but they, they scale based on how many things die over time. Oh, that's so much fun. I fucking love that when when he when he dies and then like you get like a 300 300 tentacle come out or two if you got like the death rattle uh, thing. Oh fuck, it's so good. Some tentacles, yeah. Octasari with Banana Slamma. That's the one. The beast one that gives you... That uh, that doubles the stats is huge. Goldrin doesn't double the stats, though, right? But he, he's... He, Goldrin is a great, like... Uh, you see him a lot, right? To, in With the bird. Where they can just, like, buff, 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 buff at the start. Man, Battlegrounds is really fun. It's, I, I've really enjoyed it. Okay, this is done now, too. All right, we are planted, by the way. We, not only did we finish the harvest, but we've uh, we've prepped all the fields and planted. Tomorrow, we just have to weed uh, these new fields, but that's fine. Maybe we can... Uh, I think the, the big weeder is... 45k! I'm buying it tomorrow, by the way. Sell the other one. Let's get the big weeder so that weeding goes a lot quicker. This guy needs to be um, refueled and repaired as well, right? Whoever just made the joke about Leisure Suit Larry Battlegrounds, can you imagine that that actually exists that I would play? Imagine. Yeah, I got a gold, I got a golden uh, passionate patty on turn five, and uh, I just decimated the opposition. <laughs> yeah, I cast uh, rank two, looking for love in all the wrong places, and uh, <laughs> pivoted into penis pumps. Yeah.
I don't think we repaired this guy um, after we bought him either, right? Oh, we can bring the uh, this wagon back too. We should. There we go. Perfect. We got this thing for the next harvest. This is going to look at that beautiful picture at the back. This thing is going to collect up all the straw left in the field, so we don't have to bale it. It'll go so much faster. And I think this thing is a lot wider, too. It's got huge um, storage volumes. Nice. My, my farm has one sweet jump that I know of, yeah. Actually, two, it technically has two... Well, they're not sweet jumps, but two... Two jumps. Not, not intentional jumps, either. Alright. We'll have enough to buy the... Uh, the the big weeder. So this one is the... Which... What is this? The Einbach Chopstar 590 Rogard. Oh, there's something about weeders though, right? The Chopstar... The big one... This is the first growing... So the Chopstar 590, 9 meters, first growing stages, small and medium... This is just small. So this one's much bigger, but this is... This, I mean, the ones that we're weeding currently are the are the small ones anyway, right? I think if we get anything bigger than small, we're, we're having to um, herbicide, right? I think that I think yeah. So I think we we'll, we will sell this one. I mean, if I sell this now, I can just get the big one. There's a sweet jump uh, up around here somewhere. There, uh, it's like I think it was like somewhere around there. Um, right. So we will um, sell this for twenty-two thousand bucks, and we would like to purchase the bigger one. Got a big spread. Oh, wow, look at it. You want to see this thing completely unfolded? Looks like a torture device. Gonna take no time at all to weed these fields tomorrow. <laughs> it looks like an IKEA truck. Yeah, you're right. It does. Okay, I'll leave this uh, this tractor in position, ready to go. First thing tomorrow. That'll be the tomorrow morning. We'll get Al working on that straight away, and we'll formulate a load or or so. Well, maybe maybe two loads even. Do, 
Alright, let's speed up time. September. See you later. October, here we come, baby. In the precision farming community, mechanical weeders are considered an exploit, which seems a bit overblown. Really? An exploit? sell all these flowers tomorrow too. Oh, it doesn't affect the enviro score. Oh, I see. So if you if you herbicide it does in fact affect the score, but using the weeder doesn't. Ah. I don't mind so much about that. I just I just prefer to use the weeder over the uh, sprayer. I find the sprayer is annoying to use. the valve. Yeah, I did. stopped halfway. I don't know, it just stopped filling. It's annoying. must be done. Planks?
perfect. I'll have to see what how the uh, how that silage is doing. I think some of it's maybe ready to go. Might just like store it all up and just sell it in the winter when the grass doesn't grow. <laughs> it might be better to do it that way. Okay, I think we can take some of the flowers now. Now that everything else is loaded up, we should be able to. Um, Let's open it from the other side. all of it yeah it doesn't stack it up we'll just come back and grab the uh, the rest of it sell these eggs too. So what's that? 45? It's like 46. 46 for all that. That's not bad. Sell the rest of these flowers. Yeah, I got the auto lo the universal auto loading mod. It's pretty nice actually. It's good. We uh we we reconfigured the greenhouses slightly too, but there's a little bit of a conflict with uh auto loading the flowers. They don't stack. It won't stack them up, so we can't we can't do the big glorious loads that we used to do. I haven't installed schlongs of farming sim, no. I keep meaning to, but... Oh God, every time I'm just about to install it, start looking at the, at the mod, I get so horny, I just don't even know what to do with myself. doing fine look he's just missed like the edge but he seems to be doing the whole thing at least it looks like he's doing it right up to the line too which is kind of nice I don't need to uh, I still probably do need to do like the contours a little bit Mm-hmm. 
How many cheap? 65, right? 65 that it can fit. So we now have 40 adult sheep. And this next batch of 20 are halfway through puberty now, it looks like. So silage at the front, 84, and then 27. The three at the front, we are, we know because they're from the last um, batch that didn't make it onto the uh, thing, right? the uh, chicken soon but that's okay I can do that um, what else do I need to check productions canola still have a hundred and two thousand eight hundred ninety six liters of canola making oil and we still have forty seven thousand liters of oat to make uh, flour and there is forty one thousand liters of flour already made that's great wood planks we got plenty of wood we're just storing planks because the furniture place doesn't need that many planks so we can sell them and f it looks like we've got 2547 liters of fabric so I guess we're now just saving up for the uh, clothing uh, the tailor right which is a hundred grand buy it tomorrow I guess If I ever wanted to cover myself with canola oil and run around in my field? Yes. Very much. So. Exactly. Who doesn't?
Yeah, I used to... I used to eyeball the logs. I didn't realize that it was saying how long the, uh, the logs were. <laughs> In the, during the good old days. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's because the arm is in the way. tries to roll off. Doesn't want this big bit. I don't know why. Yeah, that seems fine. It's a lot of work for, like, one log, isn't it? I might have to use my house. Yes. Sometimes you just need like a little bit of momentum. Sometimes you just need Magneto to help you. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes just a, just a little bit of help from Magneto. Yeah, the log loading is probably better with the bigger um, log trailers, right? This one, is, this one's just a little tiny one. It's got like no capacity whatsoever. How's he doing? Oh, he's doing really good. Look at him go. He's got his shorts on. This one here probably, right? <clears throat> can take much bigger logs. This one, I think you can... Oh, uh, maybe not this one. This is a good one, too. Look at this one. 42 grand. 
There is another forge wagon on sale. I think one is enough for now, though. Do the last bit so that we can get the edges and whatnot of the field, and then we can um, get them onto this other field, or I can just do it, it doesn't really matter. Look, the weeder cuts all of the grass too. No, I haven't bought the big roller yet. Well, we could save for it, but we're not going to need it until next um, next year now. So I think we'll probably buy the tailor shop first, since we're close to getting it, and we can start turning that fabric into uh, clothes, which will be decent money. And then we can think about maybe getting another sheep pen or trying to get some cotton stuff. We're soon getting to the point where we're going to want to get duplicates of equipment, right? So that we could be working multiple fields at a time. Doing the same job, though. the edge of the map <laughs> the invisible wall that we're struggling to clear See the, the, the view distance, like a circle around me. I think we can probably extend it. We put, it's probably at like medium or low right now. I don't know if it affects like the performance of the game a lot or what. settings 
general settings. Oh, I might need to do it from like the the main bit, right? It's not in here. Yeah, main menu. A lot more sheep to make the spinnery clothes factory worthwhile. All right, well, we'll start getting some more. field. We'll just put these things this worked out fine last time right when we just stacked them all there it was, it was all right come back and get them oh we need to get uh we need to get bees um back up and running too right i deleted all the bee stuff Spinner, you can go up to level 6 before you need to level up the clothes factory? Holy crap. The, the, it's the opposite way around for um, wood planks, right? This, the sawmill just spews them out, but the uh, furniture factory can't uh, use them up fast enough, right? You need to upgrade the furniture factory first. Oh yeah, I need to feed the chickens. We were feeding them barley, right? Because it was it was cheaper. Productions have levels yet. We got a mod that basically gives um. So, you, so we don't have to have multiples of the same uh, production facilities. We can just upgrade one. I think it's a bit better to do it like that. Because I don't want to have, like, fucking, you know, six oil plants right next to each other. I, I don't know. I'd rather just have one that I can upgrade. It's it's pretty well balanced because the, the upgrades cost more than it does to place the buildings. Come chickens. It's fairly cheap to get another um, chicken coop. Fill it with chickens. Sell some more eggs. And eventually, maybe get into cereal. Ah, wait. Eggs not for cereal, right? Eggs and uh, for cakes, I meant. I meant cake.
He's doing good. He hasn't gotten stuck on anything yet, at least. May see you later, beard daddy. I cannot see the weeds. I can see some weeds, but I can't see like where the the line is for the weeds. I'm gonna let the AI do this. I cannot see the weeds. I can't see the weeds. live in a tent now look at me now look at me now I live in a shack and I got my own fruit I got my own bowl of fruit like the angle you look at it like I can see all the weeds now but before I couldn't see a single weed uh, fabric god fabric sells not not bad but it's still better to put in the clothes right clothes kind of crazy <laughs> So we can upgrade fabric to the spinnery to level six before we have to do anything with the clothes, the tailor. That's crazy. There's gold as well. We can make gold. Um, we need to, uh, I think basically we need to have cows first, though. It's, um, it's stones, um, methane, and water, I believe, for gold. And, uh, methane we can make in, um, there's a, uh, no man's land building where you could put slurry and shit like that and uh another crap and in, into like a a round thing cheaty gold shit and stones shit and stones we should look into this stuff we need to get that silver run market right so we can see about getting this stuff i don't know how to get iron though i don't know how to make metal iron ore I guess you get it from the mine shaft, but I don't know if there's like nodes that you need to place it over or something. We would need to look into it. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to look at? Oh, milk. Flour bread cake. Cake is pretty good. Butter, not great. Cheese is pretty good. Cheese is not good. Honey, cereal? I don't know. For what you need to make cereal, it seems a bit wild, though, eh? Are you able to make cereals just with grains, or do you have to have honey in there, too, for the most part? 
I'll probably need some sugar in, right? In the base game, there's an ore mine, but you don't know if it works otherwise. <coughs> I would love to just make Cheerios. Yeah, I don't know if you can, though. But what about Special K? We could make we could make raisin bran if we did grape stuff. Just oats to make oatmeal. Hmm. Corn flakes. All you need is to harvest some corn for that one. They just cut the corn into like. Uh, Razor thin, like wafer slices. This machine uh, is a weeder, it is currently weeding. recipe is honey, raisins, and corn. How much do raisins sell for? Just on their own raisins. Not bad, actually. Grape juice is pretty good, too. Can you just sell the grapes? Oh, yeah, you can. Not bad. Still better to process it, though, right? Production orchards. So to make a grapevine, it's a hundred and five bucks per meter. And you have to get grapes planted March, April, or May with a harvest of September or October. Olives are similar, except narrowly they have to just be done in october you have to harvest them in october the only thing you can do with all is is uh olive oil right or or just sell the olives as they are Apparently the grape stuff just snaps. I don't know if it always did, but... but it sounds like maybe it's easier. October. So long.
Nice. And I guess we could try to pick up 45 next and then expand the grass stuff if we need, especially if we're going to get more sheep. I, I suppose we want to do that. It's really pouring rain out here right now. A lot. Filling up the greenhouses again, not even with the full load. Harvest the grass today, but nothing else needs to be done. All right, let's go pick up some stuff. Uh the straps are on.
four pallets of five pallets of oil? Yes. Yes, please. Two furniture pallets as well. Good. All right, chat. I'm going to drop this off and then I got to go. It's not it's not as late as as usual, but we did get a stream in. A good one, too. God, it's like seven hours. Good. That's a lot of farming sim. Uh, we managed to finish uh, the harvest. And um, we got everything planted for next year's harvest. And in the meantime, we will sell products and build up more production stuff. And uh, we should be making money in no time. Look at that. 58 ish just short I'll sell these flowers as well there's probably another 10k or so flowers yeah we'll buy the uh, the clothing maker and get the production going Yep, yeah, sheep are making wool, and uh, we got this. We bought the spinnery today as well, so we we got fabric on hand too. So we should be able to make some clothes. Uh, remind me, we got to do the um, the what you call it, the mowing. We got to mow the the grass. I won't be here tomorrow, chat, but I probably will be back on Friday. Oh, I lied. That's like uh, 18, 18 and a half K for um, flowers. 136. Good. That is good news, Randy. That's good to hear. All right, let's park this bad boy up, ready for the next load. Um, all right, and let's make this thing. Where are we going to put it? We want to put it along here somewhere, I think. It's small. It's not a huge building. Tailor shop. 100k. Is there a different one? Barrel, furniture, flooring, iron furnace, mine shaft, paper, pet accessories, art accessories, shingle factory, lime gold, methane production. Nope. It looks like it's just this one. The tailor shop. The tailor shop. Um, it's just going to automatically receive stuff. So we can put it... Uh, yeah, I might just put it here, actually. Because we can pick this stuff up when we come to pick up the, uh, the other stuff, too, right? The uh, furniture and whatnot. Let's put it right here. 100 grand. Nice. Okay, so that's uh, 
the tailor shop. Purchased. Distributing to make clothes, which will activate now. So it just wants fabric. Perfect. Nice. We did it. We're making clothes. We just got to scale up now. A lot. It's good. As soon as we make money, we spend it, but it's still, it's good. Very nice. All right, chat. Listen, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you're enjoying your, uh, your Christmas uh, break. Condolences if you've had to go back to work um, so soon after your Christmas break, but either way, hope you're enjoying yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for the support as well. Thanks for the subs and resubs and the donations. I appreciate it. Have a good one. I'm not here tomorrow, but I will be back on Friday. So I'll see you then. We'll do some more farming, yeah? Okay, chat. LOL, lots of love. I'll see you then. Peace. Bye now. Bye.